The Yankees twin series that just took place in the Bronx over the weekend was a pretty memorable one. The Twins jumped on the first two games to win both and threatened either winning the series 3-1 to or even sweeping New York. There were a couple of vital innings the Twins offense came through, like the 9-run first inning in Game 1 and then the pivotal 8th inning in Game 2 in which the Twins scored two runs, including the go-ahead run in a game they'd eventually win, with Carlos Correa being right in the thick of both innings. Correa is a Yankee killer, and someone who only continued that in this series, getting two hits in Game 1, one which was a homer, while also working a walk. In Game 2, he get a couple more hits and was responsible for driving in three of the Twins' four runs, a home run in the 6th and then the go-ahead double in the 8th. Yankees fans do not like Carlos Correa. In fact, I'm willing to bet they hate him, at least some of them, considering he of course played a big part in some of the Astros teams that took down New York in the playoffs, including 2017. I always thought Correa warranted more chance and hate from Yankees fans rather than Jose Altuve. Correa really took the scandal on front and center and was not afraid to defend his teammates and call out other players for what they were saying about the Astros. But whatever. Yankees fans still hate Correa, at least some of them. Enough for the booze at Yankee Stadium to be heard whenever he walked up to the plate. That obviously did not have any effect on his game whatsoever and only helped them deliver at the plate for his twins, if anything. After the second game of the four game series, Correa was asked about the booze he heard from the Yankee Stadium crowd, going on to say that he loved it. Quote, the booze for me are just like putting gasoline in your Ferrari. I love it. Fans know the game. They know every player's name. They know their families. They know their wives. They know everything about the sport. To me, that's what I grew up loving about this game. I think the fans here get that, and for me, that's fun. End quote. So it's not like there's any bad blood on Correa's end. He actually appreciates the booze and passion from Yankees fans. They may not feel the same, or maybe they do. I don't know. Let me know in the comments how you feel about Carlos Correa as a Yankees fan, if you're a Yankees fan. Well, after those comments by Correa, I guess it was almost as if he stopped getting booed because he did not get a hit the rest of the series, going 0 for 8 and striking out three times while the Yankees won both games, and the Twins had to settle for a series split in the Bronx. In that fourth and final game though, nothing that crazy happened, but there was a moment where Twins manager Rocco Baldelli lost it for a second on Garrett Cole. Cole pitched a complete game shutout on Sunday, but in the sixth inning, Cole would lose his grip on a changeup and have it go up and in on Correa. It wasn't intentional, and I wouldn't ever think Cole would purposefully throw up and in to Correa, considering the two were former teammates on a couple of fantastic teams in Houston, and they seem to have really gotten along, so there really isn't any beef there or anything. Well, Rocco Baldelli was pissed. I don't necessarily think he believed there was any intent there by Cole. I mean, it's hard to, considering it was an 89 mile an hour changeup and neither player seemed upset, but Baldelli, at the very least, was just pissed off that Cole wasn't getting it over the plate, screaming at him from the dugout right after the pitch. I'm not a great lip reader, and I'm not going to try to be. I leave that up to John Boy, and so should everyone else, but I feel like he said, figure it the F out, God damn it here. Either that or keep the ball down or something. It's clear he said God damn it at the end though. Whatever the case, it doesn't matter because Cole continued to dominate and like I said, finished the complete game shutout, lowering his ERA so far on the young season to 0.95. He's been ridiculous so far in his first four starts of 2023. So yeah, just some updates on what Carlos Correa, Garrett Cole, and Rocco Baldelli were up to over the weekend. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. If you didn't, well, thank you for staying this long anyway. Let me know your thoughts and I'll see you in the next video.